Time to shine today, podcast varsity squad. This is Scott Ferguson, and I have the opportunity. I could probably have did this in studio, but uh, my because my good friend Vasi here, she lives I don't know a mile or two from me, but she is the most awesome sauce photographer. I hire her for the people that out there that know me and my listeners know that I'm a real estate agent here in South Florida, and Vasi does the photo shoots for my homes, but. Best of all, she can teach you how to be an excellent photographer on your own, which we're going to get into her course, which this paparazzi stuff that we're going to get into, what she does for pets and whatnot is just phenomenal. But Vasi is originally from Bulgaria, so she has that awesome uh, European accent, which you'll hear here in a second. Just and she's if you're watching, she's absolutely gorgeous. She's beautiful. And best of all, she's my friend here in South Florida. She's a photographer and she's been in South Florida here for 11 years. She teaches people how they can have a virtual persona for their online business and improve their image. And ever since COVID happened, clients and friends and other people and me referring to her started reaching out to her to find out how they can look more professional on their social media platforms. And if you're looking at us right now, my background, my lighting, my camera is because of the woman that you're seeing here on the screen. So, Miss Vasi, please come on, introduce yourself to Time to Shine Today podcast, Varsity Squad. But first, what's your favorite color and why? Oh, my God. This is the hardest uh, question you can <laughs> ask me. It used to be pink. If you ask my four years uh, old daughter, <laughs> she would say that it's pink. But I kind of changed. And nowadays, probably it's kind of off-white just because it's very elegant and because it represents me as the new Vasi. I love it. I love it, the new Vasi. So let's get into maybe the old Vasi a little bit and pull that forward to the new Vasi. So let's get into the origins uh, maybe your little trip and how you got here from Bulgaria, because I know our listeners are looking forward to hearing that. And then, you know, leveling up into your business of photography right now. So uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for having me. Like, I'm so honored. I'm mm -hmm. very excited. And hi to you, dear listeners or viewers. Uh, so 10 and a half years ago, uh, I had this dream that I'm packing up my stuff and going on the airplane uh, and it happened on the next day, I had a phone call and I had the opportunity to come. Also, my little sister, uh, who is very important for me, uh, she was already here and she did tell our mom one day, it's time for me to come to U.S. and just for uh, her and I to reunite and be together. And then fast forward a few months, I came to U.S. Uh, the first six months I was in Massachusetts and then uh, I came uh, and lived here in Florida since then. Uh, and I'm joking that I haven't seen snow at, uh, for 10 and a half years. And I really <laughs> love uh, uh, because I know that uh, in New York and other places uh, around, you know, U.S. And the, and the world, it's snowing. I'm like, well, I'm like 40 degrees and I'm freezing with jackets. And it's funny, but it's true. Love it. I love it. And so like your little sister, I obviously uh, actually is a really good friend of mine as well. Right, Monica? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Love, love me some Monica. She's a realtor that I actually compete with in South Florida, but I also bounce. I meet once a year with Monica for um, a brunch and we always talk business and I'll tell you what, that girl levels me up and I can see why you guys both are leveled up. So like what kind of obstacles did you find when you moved from Bulgaria to the United States and how did you kind of get through those obstacles and really level up to where you are now? Well, well, I would say English, English, English. So <laughs> the truth is that in uh, Europe, they teach us British English. No okay. one teaches us American English and no one prepares for accent and slang. And so I landed here and I, I, you know, I study English in my university, but I, and I also learned some English through watching movies, but I came here and I never will forget. One time, one of my boss texted me, Vasi, are you on your way? And I'm like, I don't know. So for over a year, truly, I was sending every single text message I was receiving to my sister to reply to people because I wasn't able to reply. So it was quite a bit of challenging. And that's not 
that's the hardest thing. Of course, the culture was very, very different and, you know, good manners, at least in my family and my country, sometimes it might not be considered for good manners here. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, see, it's time to pivot. Uh, but also what was interesting is that when I came to Porida, where my sister, as all of you, you know, nowadays, uh, she lives here. She said to Vasi, I'm very disappointed with you because you almost don't speak any English. So you and I are going to speak English 24-7. So wow. can you imagine? I know, it was brutal. Believe me, it was brutal. You wake up at two in the morning and you want a glass of water and she would say, can you repeat again? What are you trying to say? So it was like a little <laughs> tough. But then one day she said, hmm, Rasi, I'm sick and tired of speaking English all the time with you. I'm going back to Bulgaria and I'm seriously, I just got it used to it. I really enjoy speaking, even if it's broken English still, at least I'm trying. Right. Uh, and then, but then it was easy because at that time I had a, a boyfriend who is now my awesome husband and okay. I was practicing with him English. I guess that's how I got to say. So what did your family make about the decision, think about the decision of both you and your sister coming to America and really starting a life for yourself? Were they, were they in your corner? Were they for you, supporting you? Or were they kind of wanting to pull you back? They were so excited and so happy because I have a joke, but it's true. So the family right now, it's operated by two. Mom and dad are back in Bulgaria. And my sister and I, we live only 10 minutes away from each other. Our kids go in the same daycare and we really support each other. Having each other in the one place, it's so wonderful. It's hard to know that, like when I didn't see my sister for four years. Uh, and the way for me mentally to handle this was, okay, she's just in a different state. You know, we were talking to each other pretty often. And then when I came to US, that's how I feel for my parents. Uh, you know, before all of us, we were doing FaceTime and Viber and WhatsApp. We just talked, but I knew that they're in a different state and they uh, they know that their kids are in a better place and we can make more impact. So my parents are really good people. They're very open-minded. That's how they, you know, raised us. That's great. And so let, let's move forward and then to your passion for photography so you got the family support being over here what were you into photography in bulgaria or did that passion start to come up in the past 11 years or how do we get into that that passion so you're going to be laughing but my boyfriend in bulgaria mom and i we cre he was very passionate about photography so we made him a photographer we helped him so I was around a photographer for like two and a half years. So when I came here and I really kind of knew a little bit of English, I was able to work, uh, you know, pretty much to have the freedom after I got married. And I was thinking what I can pursue as a career, which one day would allow me to have family, like kids and et cetera. So one day, again, mom, very important person, she said, so Fassi, why you don't consider photography career? It would really give you good flexible. You're very artistic because... Uh, so I'm nowadays third generation photographer. So my grandfather used to be a photographer in the Second World War. He was a very tiny man. So he was going on the front, taking pictures. Uh, then I didn't know until a few years uh, ago that also my father was a part-time photographer and my mom who was winning photography uh, contests. Oh. So that's how eventually she said, Vasi well, photography. And that day, again, I had these days in my life uh, I worked as a waitress and a photographer came and I thought I was very brave there with my apron said, I want to become a photographer, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, this foreigner barely speak English. But anyway, I went there, showed him my pictures. He gave me the chance. Uh, I worked for him for two and a half years. And right away, I recognized the education is the key to success. So I started going to three uh, photography organization trainings, volunteering, helping other photographers. I was the assistant to go and it helped me to meet a lot of different styles of photographers. And I volunteer. Nowadays, I have two photography degrees, a lot of awards for those of you who are looking. They are the blue things and they're also purple. All of them, they are my, you know, awards, degree. <laughs> this is wow. considered a photography degree. Um, which I'm supposed to be inspiring other photographers. So that's it, you know. I was asked, 
actually two days ago to be the president of my local photography guild. I'm on the board for wow. six years. Yeah, but I told him I don't have time. Sorry, I love you. No, you don't you. have the time. <laughs> I will give you my creative ideas because I'm very modern thinking, being exposed to the online world and the sure. photography field. They are a little too uh, time old fashioned in certain sure. aspects. And I'm like, no, you need to do this. You need to do this. And they, they like and dislike me sometimes. That's so okay. Honest. You know what? The, the, there's a competition that involves around everything. And I think with photography, it's not so much a competition against others. I think it's a competition to, to make your next shot better than your last shot. You find that yourself kind of drawn into that because I know your sister probably a little bit better than you because, you know, we're in the real estate business. I know she's competitive. Me and her yes. like love to compete on a fun level, like within yourself competing to take that shot. Do you find that you get kind of caught up in a negative way with it sometimes where you're just trying to be too perfect or do you just kind of like let it flow, Vasi? Okay. Depends of the session. Uh, I, I always love learning, which helps me grow as an artist. Uh, I believe that I need to take, must have pictures, make people pets to look their best because people think, oh, you just press the button. I'm like, no, <laughs> we have a very important job because from us as our talents and skills depends the confidence of a person. A lot of times doing business portraits, if I do a good job, they might be hired. They might get this big account. And on top of it, they will uh, believe in themselves. I build security and confidence. And when I talk to people, they think I'm just talking to them. In reality, what is going in the back of my mind, it's, okay, let me look at your face, your eyes. Are you symmetrical? Like, let me look at your body language, the structure, your clothing, the message, your personality. So this is everything what I need to capture. So I will start taking the pictures, whatever I'm photographing, but then I will try to perfect it and master it. By the time I know that I have it, uh, then uh, I, I'm personally considered done with the session. But of course, I keep them, like I show them the pictures, make sure. sure they have a couple of pictures they like. And then we will meet again or right away for them to review the pictures. So it's very responsible for me every time when I press the button. You know that you you are so right because Squad, she does my real estate pictures and I'm up for, I think they're about three years old now. So I probably should get some new ones. Yes. But I remember during our session, you had me in a power pose, turned to the side with my arms folded, and you took like five shots. And I'm like, oh, that's good. She's like, no, 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 no. Your watch is very nice. You pulled my sleeve up a little bit to make sure that watch was exposed, you know, and it was, it, it makes the picture because people will be like, they see that and they see the watch. And they, I get brought up more about that watch and the picture on my wall than me. And that's because of your eye. And, and I appreciate you doing that. So Vasi, when people want to become kind of a, like improve their social image and become a rock star in their own persona online, especially that you're helping people do, what do you think is their biggest blind spot that they have when they're trying to set that up? The biggest themselves. obstacle, the biggest blind spot. Themselves. Okay. We are our worst enemy. This is legitimate. So a lot of times I hear this on a daily basis. I probably have to start writing a journal. Oh, I'm not going to do this video. I'm not going to do this picture. I didn't do my hair. I gained a couple of pounds via, you know, during COVID. And I'm like, listen, people, I love you. But first of all, who cares? You have a couple of extra wrinkles. Who cares? You have a couple of extra pounds. The truth is that good lighting good posture and posing, <laughs> properly clothing, you know, can really help and benefit you. But on the end of the day, what people truly want to see, it's you. It's the person you are. Because even when you go online, even when you look on the street, you're going to see there are a lot of men, there are a lot of women, a lot of kids. But if they really truly see you and they see your smile, then see you're confident, you believe in yourself and you are happy, even if maybe stressed out. That's what they're going to be attracted to. And this is, you know, I actually sometimes... Funny story for women that will be laughing. I couldn't find my makeup bag for two days. But I, <laughs> I know laughing. it was a disaster. 
I couldn't. And then I had to go online and teach two and a half hours. And I said, it's okay, Vasi, lipstick, you know, your photographer, put the lights in front of you. No one can see you didn't sleep. You woke up at four, you went to sleep at four. And that's how I wrote the magic. But, you know, because I, in a, not that I'm confident, I didn't care because I knew that what I can bring on the table and give the value to my listeners, to my followers, to the people I photograph, it's so much greater than me having dark circle under my eyes or just, you know, not having makeup because people would follow you and fall in love with you and just refer you and help you grow for the person you are because you're so unique. So what I'm... So what I'm hearing is like, you don't be perfect. Yes. Just do it. Get, take action. Let your personality shine through it. These people that are trying to build uh, either a business online or a persona online or a podcast like me, because I learned that from you is be yourself. Just do the best that you can to set up the, put yourself in the best situation. But if things go sideways, you're saying adapt and overcome, right? Like just kind of keep pushing forward, but still do it. Correct? Absolutely. Damn, it's perfect. You just do it. Even if it's not perfect, because again, you had a lot of reason you couldn't get it perfect. Nothing is perfect. I mean, seriously, you watch a movie. (laughs) Nothing is perfect. You just do your best. And if this time wasn't like you didn't wear the right shirt, maybe the shirt was wrinkled, just try if there is a way next time to improve it at least 1%. And then slowly. You hear that squad? She's saying don't try to make it, don't get stuck in the analysis paralysis, just, you know, go out there and do it. Understand that there's always improvements. We can always progress because we're either progressing or regressing. That's what we stay here at time to shine today a lot. And that's what Vasi is telling us to get set up, hire someone like Vasi that's going to be able to put you in the best possible position and then just do it and just keep moving forward. So Vasi, I want to take a step back a little bit. Have you seen the movie back to the future? Yes. Okay. Marty McFly, he got in his DeLorean and he went back in time. Let's say you got in that DeLorean and I'm just going to take you back to say the 20 year old bossy. I'm not going to say your age because I do know it. And you look phenomenal for it, <laughs> but let's go back in time to the bossy at 20 years old. What kind of knowledge nuggets? That's what we call them here at time to shine today. What kind of knowledge nuggets are you going to drop on her to maybe help her shorten her learning curve, blast through and level up maybe a little bit quicker. First of all, I would say, Vasi, learn English, believe me, because if I knew English better, like writing wise, even as well, I would be able to accomplish, uh, you know, everything much quicker. And I would encourage you, uh, young Vasi, (laughs) to continue uh, just learning, growing and follow her instincts, because a lot of times just keep learning and growing and down beats perfect. You know, I hear it every day. I repeat it every day. It's so true. Just believe in yourself and being surrounded really good people. And a lot of times, um, and that's why even going to a coach to me, it's very important going to training because you can ask your loved ones for advice, but I cannot ask my husband for photography advice just because this is not expertise, his expertise. So being surrounded good environment of people who are very uh, motivated like you, it really is very beneficial for you to grow. Speaking of that, who in one sentence or one, don't be long on this one, but who has had the most profound impact on your life? Uh, my sister, Moni. Moni, love it, love Moni. it. Yes. So uh, let's go to the direct opposite direction. Who's given you the worst advice or no, no. What is the worst advice you've ever been given? You don't have to say who it is, but who's given or what was the worst advice you've ever been given? To leave photography field. To leave it. Something else. Who had the balls to tell you that? No, never. I, don't tell me. No. <laughs> okay. I'm open. It was my auntie. She said, leave photography. You probably barely can pay your daughter, uh, you know, uh, school fees, go and become like in the medical field. And my husband said, don't listen to her. Yeah. Go your heart. A lot of times people say stuff out of love. They think there's loving us. And that's probably your aunt, auntie, you know, that that's fine. And that, I, I've been told that too. I, I, I liken it Vasi to a bucket of crabs. You know, you have a crab that's trying to crawl out of that bucket and the rest of them, are pulling them back to what they think is safety. I I appreciate you sharing that because my squad, our listeners like to hear that. So 
how do you want your dash remembered? That little line between your incarnation date and your expiration date, your life date and your death date. How do you want that? How do you want Vasi's dash remembered? Making impact and inspiring people. Wow. Because I did this uh, digging uh, actually like a month ago, two months ago. And I was trying to, even for myself, you know, we keep growing to find, again, I really changed so much since COVID. I was trying to find myself from being a photographer now, be teaching people. And I'm like, my power, it's my superpower. It's simplifying and showing people and encouraging them just to take an action and just to do it. And this is what I really am so proud of myself that I discovered that that's how my parents, you know, raised me. Uh, and it's never too late to find that you have it and recognize it. Love that. I love it. So Vasi, and it's true. You, you, you found a superpower and then you just kept on adding and, and for lack of a better term, piling onto it to where you're at now. Do you ever find yourself being in a situation in photography where you're not confident? Oh, uh, uh, very often. Oh my God. I go there shaking. I'm like, Vasi, how are you going to do this? And then I would tell my husband, he would say, come on, Vasi, you have so much experience. This is almost a decade of being in the photography field. Like you can do it. I can do it even if you wake me up. To me, being a professional, you it's that at any situation, you just can do it. And it did happen to me and I did it. So right. yeah, I shake sometimes. Yeah, your husband's a rock. You know, and I mean that is like he's there and that's twice now you brought him up saying to get past your fear. And like we've been taught in life that anything you want is on the other side of fear. Right. I mean, just once you blast through, I mean, even when you came on today, you're like, Scotty, I'm nervous. It's But you're crushing it. Look at this. So what do you think? Now, let me ask you this. What what keeps Vasi up at night? Oh my God, I have so many ideas. It's crazy. I, oh my God, they just flow. And not only ideas for myself, but very often I have ideas for my students. And I'm like, okay, I know, I see your Instagram account. I know how it's going to look. I see that this is the way you can pivot and change it in your new vision. And it's here. So the moment when I, have these ideas. I actually send voice messages and you know that very well. You do. And I thank you for doing that. That's awesome. (laughs) Thank you. It's easy and it's more personal. So I would go and send them voice messages with my ideas. uh, And that's what it is. It's just the ideas. I cannot stop them of coming, you know, I (laughs) I love it. I love it. Do you journal? I don't. I'm honestly, as an artist, very honestly, sorry, friends, but I'm a little unorganized. So what I do, I write, <laughs> it's true. I mean, my husband is the opposite way. I'm unorganized, but I do in my phone, in the notes. I do have different places I write. And in January, I, when I wrote the plan for this year, I actually simplifies everything. Uh, and it was Vasi what the, wants to accomplish you know, my local studio, uh, and then, you know, my online business, my family. Uh, and that's kind of when I separated. And this is what honestly, even now, sometimes when we feel lost or overwhelmed with daily basis problems and, and things to do, I just go back visually. I wrote this at 4 a.m. Yes, I have to follow it. And Love just it. gave me so much clarity. That's amazing. Yeah, that's that, that's great. I mean, I, I journal. I'm always writing 10 things I'm grateful for every day. And you've made it on that list quite a few times. And that, that's great that you're doing that. So what is your definition of a life well lived, Asi? Spending more time with my family, quality experience, uh, even drinking coffee in the morning and hugging them and our daughter watching a TV show, which we watch TV, kids TV all the time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I love traveling, spending time with my sister, her family, my parents, uh, and just making an impact in my students me growing and helping them to grow and see horizon they never thought. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. And squad, we are going to bring Vasi into our leveling up lightning round just as soon as we get back from thinking our sponsors and affiliates. And hey, 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 we are back with my good friend Vasi, the awesome, awesome photographer. And we're going to bring her into our leveling up lightning round. And Vasi, we're going to ask you five or six questions. You have five seconds to answer them. No explanations. Okay. 
We will beep you in the back. I'm kidding. We won't do that. But we're going to have just just real quick question. All of them can be answered. You and I could personally talk about each one of these questions for an hour. But you got five seconds to answer them, okay? Got it. Got it, boss. All right. Let's level up. What's the best leveling up advice Fossi's ever received? Keep learning. Yes. Share one of your personal habits that contributes to your success. Drinking coffee. <laughs> I love it. That is so awesome. So other than your websites, because you have Virtual Persona by Vasi, you have the PetPicksAcademy.com, on also TimeToShineToday.com. That's my shameless plug. What other website do you like to go to to level up? Oh, uh, well... I listen to podcasts. Sorry to say, Yay, but I'm that's fine. Well. That's perfect. Hopefully it's time to shine today. Awesome. Okay. If I'm not feeling all that great, my I'm in the doldrums a little bit. You're like, Fergie, read this book. What book would you give me? Oh my God. Um, well, this is funny, but I, I Outlander, it's my favorite. It's a girly stuff. But yeah. that's what I would re- suggest you to read. It's not for boys, it's for girls, but it hey. helps I watch the show, so don't even go there. Awesome. So what emoji do you use most when you text? Smiley face. Smiley face. Love it. Now, you can't lie to me on this, but if you could stay one age for the rest of your life and keep the wisdom you've gotten and continue to garner more wisdom, what age would that be? My current age. And okay. I don't... Okay. That's fine. That's fine because I know your age. So I would like to be the current age that you're at now too. So that's fine. <laughs> Is there any favorite charity and or organization you like to give your time or money to? Pet rescues all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Mwah. Thank you for saying that. Mm-hmm. Last question. You can elaborate just a little bit on this one, but what's the best decade of music? Se- 70, 60s, 70s, 80s, or 90s? Oh my God. I guess around, uh, probably around the, the 90s. I figured you were going to say the yeah. 90s. That's what, yes, I, I know your up. age stuff. So yeah. that's awesome. Awesome. So Vasi, how can we find you? Honestly, the easiest way is going to be just to find me under Vasi Seidman. It's Vasi, V-A-S-I, uh, S-I-E-D-M-A. Vasi Seidman, it's my, on Facebook. I'm the most active there and you can find everything. Awesome. Private message me. <laughs> Tell me about the Pet Picks Academy. This is my passion. So what I decided to do is to teach people how to take better pictures of their furry kids with their cell phone. So I know it's uh, strange, but I do a lot of uh, pet portraits. And for years, I kept being asked from my clients, Vasi, can you give us a few tips? They even call it Vasi tips, uh, how we can take pictures when our baby's furry kids are doing, you know, on the bed and doing this cute expression. And that's how 2019, I came up with the idea of creating Pet Pics Academy, which nowadays has different courses. Uh, and I just, I make so much impact. It's incredible. For two weeks, I have different age group of students from 20s to 75. And for two weeks, you can see the growth if they take my paparazzi school for beginners. It's incredible. And I love it. I love it. And so how much is that? Uh, the school, it's 119 And my membership, uh, I also have a membership so one dollar for two weeks uh, and nineteen dollars for a month, uh, and it really teaches them a lot. So I recommend the school would be the best. But even if you start with membership, get it, just feel to it, uh, and then the rest of it, time will show. But in, you not only learn to take pictures of your pets because a lot of my pet people they have businesses, they have pet businesses, they have like different. I just help them being able to take better pictures of everything, including when they go on vacation, even nowadays, this is, you know, a little touchy subject, but when you're with your families for the holidays, and it's incredible to see, like, I'm telling you, like, some of my students, their pictures, they call it before Vasi time and after Vasi time, it's just so rewarding. Wow, and so what can they expect, really, the biggest takeaway would they get from the pet pics? Is it not just with the pets, but they'll be able to take pictures of different situations. So is that all? And is it a virtual course? Yes, it's an online course. So they can take it uh, in their pace. So even if they start watching it and they decide to go back in a year from now, they always will have access. But the best part is they can still also ask me so I can customize it and answer them what they okay. will learn. You know, I, I'm, like, I'm very open. All of my students, they have, it's me. 
they will private message me, I'll respond to them and everything else. I know all of their names and everything else. I really know everyone, their styles, but what they will learn is to create memories. That's what it is. So in 15 years from now, we have this joke in photography. If you purchase a wall art piece from us and we want to buy it back in five years from now, what was going to be the price? You know, the memories you cannot put a price on. Right. Yes. I love that. And will you be updating the course periodically or is it just, you know, are are you adding videos to it, to your subscribers or are they already done or how does that work then? Well, I keep adding new courses, like currently I'm doing, so I have uh, for beginners, I have home studio, so you can build a home studio at home. I also have Canva, Lightroom. I'm currently running Lightroom, Photoshop, but what I'm about to start, Mm -hmm. I'm going to be launching uh, the Pet Influencer Academy uh, and also a podcast for people with pets. So I'm going to help them, teach them, you're my inspiration, Mm -hmm. how to bring it to the next level and become pet influencers and spread the love of their babies with others. I love that. I love that. And squad, I just had a fantastic conversation with one of my besties here in South Florida. She's fantastic. She's going to remind us, Vasi, is going to remind us that education is really a key to success. Whatever field you're getting into, whatever you're passionate about, get as educated as possible when you're doing this. She's going to say a good artist, a great photographer is going to make you look their best. It's going to show, bring out the confidence and the security in that person. And that's what Vasi does. Just look at the picture that's going to be right up above my head right now. Vasi took that picture. So remember that she brought out this confidence. I'm a pretty confident guy, but she took me to a level up that, that it, I get so many compliments on my business card picture that I don't want to change it, but I do have to update it because I'm getting older. But, you know, a good photographer, a good artist, you know what values that they have, they, they can bring to the audience, to their viewers, to really tell a story through their photography. You know, and she's going to tell her younger self to, you know, learn. I mean, with her, it was a language. She would tell you that as well. Whatever you're struggling with the most, your biggest obstacle, she's going to tell you to learn. And then grow and follow your instincts and believe in yourself the most. You know, she's going to be remembered as someone who made an impact, inspired people to take action. I know that she is doing it now. I am privy to be around her at least a couple times a year and actually see how she works. I'll tell you what, when she's in a mode taking photographs of a picture that I have listed, I just get out of the way. She says, Scott, can you move furniture? I do it. That's she takes charge. And I love that. Love that about her. And her life well lived is a quality experience with time and family and building those memories, memories that you want to get good at photography, because 15 years from now, you want to look back at that and you want that picture that you take to really bring back those memories to almost where you smell and taste the air and what you're going through in that. And I'm just so blessed that I know Vasi on a personal level. I'd love to introduce you to Vasi. If you're looking to level up your home studio or level up your picture taken of your family and pets, please, please give me a, get in touch with me. I'll put you in touch with Vasi. And Vasi, thank you so much for coming on. You level up your health. You level up your wealth. You're so driven, so hungry, so humble. I love your guts. Thank you so, so much for coming on Time to Shine today. Thank you as well, uh, Scott, for having me. Thank you, dear listeners and viewers. It has been such a pleasure and honor, and I believe in you. And just keep pressing the button of your phone, create memories, because you are going to love them and cherish them forever. Awesome. Thanks so much, Vasi. Talk soon.